Hey guys, it's Melanie. Today's video is a little bit spur of the moment for me. Um, we are going to be doing a lipstick purge, lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner purge, declutter, whatever you want to call it today. I am, um, I've been looking through my lip drawer, you know, every couple weeks for my beauty baskets and I'm still really overwhelmed by what I have in there. And I have found myself avoiding certain products. And I think the fact that I'm doing that kind of says probably time to get rid of those things. <laughs> if I'm purposely not grabbing for them because I don't want to use them because I know I don't really love them, I think the time has come to let them go. So today I'm going to take you guys through the process of getting rid of some more of my lipsticks and honestly... A lot of what I'm going to be getting rid of is probably going to be drugstore stuff because a lot of my drugstore lipsticks are kind of old to start with and um, I'm finding myself more and more attracted to higher end lipstick formulas. Um, so <laughs> I think that I can definitely let some things go and I just need to because honestly a lot of these lipsticks are probably pretty old to start with. So makeup doesn't last forever periodically you do have to go through and sanitize everything and if it's expired by like a long period of time it's probably best to just let it go so i'm going to take you guys down on the floor behind me here and we're going to run through everything and um get rid of some stuff uh before anyone at because as there's always someone that asks can you just send them to me can you send me your makeup Anything that I can pass along to my nieces, I always put aside for them. I sanitize it and I put it aside for my nieces. Um, I kind of like to spoil them that way and I just, I know they like playing with the makeup and it's fun for them. Um, but with lip products, typically if I have used them or if I know that they're expired, I usually just toss those. Lip products are not something that I believe in necessarily passing along or sharing with somebody. So that's just my own personal thing. You obviously may have a differing opinion of that. But um, if my makeup can go to a good home, it always does. And if it's expired or I'm not comfortable passing it along, I throw it away. So that might be wasteful, but that's just the way that I do it. So let's go ahead and um, get set up on the floor behind me here and get rid of some lipsticks. Okay, so I just pulled my little lipstick holders out of my drawer. By the way, I found all of my acrylic lipstick holders at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and I think they were like $4.99 or $5.99, way cheaper than what you can find these for online. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's maybe start over here with this little grouping of products and first thing I'm gonna grab that I know I just don't use is the one of these color whispers from Maybelline I have found myself purposely avoiding this so that one needs to go this is blushing bud and this is this is the matte formula I'm not 100% sure that I love this color on me so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out of here this is Born With It from Maybelline. I think I actually have two of these. Yeah, this is one of like my newer ones. Um, I do still like that color. This one is Touch of Spice. I really like this color, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. But Maybelline is not a cruelty-free company, so I know I'm never going to like repurchase these. I think I'm just going to try to enjoy them as much as I can. Um, this is another Born With It. This is a Make Me Pink. I'm actually thinking that I might get rid of this Make Me Pink one. Um, I used it a couple times this summer, and I don't know. I just, I don't love, love it, so I just don't see myself reaching for it in the future. This is a Lust for Blush. This is another matte one that I'm not... 100% sure about, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this one just in case. Which one is this? This is a nude nuance. Uh, this is just not really a flattering 
color on me. I'm just going to swatch it real quick. Hang on here. Yeah, this is, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> no, with my current coloring, this is just not a good fit. So let's get rid of that. So we're really getting a lot of Maybelline out of here. The Warm Me Up I do still definitely wear from time to time. This color here is On Fire Red. This is a really pretty red, so it's a very blue-based red, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that guy. I don't wear red lips very often, but when I do, that is a nice one. I do have some Essence lipsticks here. There is one, I think, is it this one, all about cupcake? No, I like this one. I think it's actually this, maybe this guy right here. Yeah, Coralize Me. This one I purposely avoided all summer long because it's more of a shimmer finish, and I just, I don't know, I, I only wore it a few times. I just didn't think it was flattering on me, so I'm going to get rid of that one too, so... But everything else in here, I haven't really found myself avoiding purposely. There's a couple of um, L'Oreal lipsticks in here, obviously. So I think I'm good with that. This, by the way, I actually just pulled this from my beauty basket. This is Mirror Mauve from Maybelline, the Color Sensationals. And this has a really bad chemical scent to it, so I'm going to toss this one. From here, okay, so I <laughs> guys are probably going to think I'm nuts. These are now discontinued. They are the Revlon Lip Butters, and honestly, I did not reach for these all summer long. Um, the only color that I'm really tempted to keep is, it's not the, no, this is one I'm thinking about getting rid of. I think it's this one here the Sugar Plum. I'm kind of tempted to keep this one because it's just a really pretty plum shade and I might wear it this fall. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that. But I'm definitely getting rid of the Creme Brulee and the Peach Parfait because I purposely avoided those. So those got to go. The Juicy Papaya. Maybe I'll keep this one around for next summer potentially, but I honestly don't really see myself using it. Something else I don't see myself using is this Rimmel lipstick in Let's Get Naked. Um, I I like, I thought I would like this color. It's just not very flattering on me. And honestly, the smell of this is kind of a turnoff to me. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this guy. Another one is Airy Fairy. Man, do you guys remember when this was popular on YouTube? The smell of this I honestly cannot really get past the smell of this it's got a, an odd fruity scent to it that I just don't like to start with but now it smells like it's gone kind of sour I've had this lipstick for a really long time so I think that one needs to go and this L'Oreal color Riche in rose taffeta I think I need to get rid of this I just I haven't reached for it I mean, it's a pretty color for fall isn't it maybe I'll just keep it and maybe put it in a beauty basket coming up here I think that's gonna help me decide whether I'm gonna keep it or not but I don't know I don't love it so we'll see this is nude from L'Oreal I don't know I think I'm gonna keep this for a little bit longer but um, it's not one that I really gravitate towards at all anymore. What's this? This is another Jennifer's nude. Apparently I had a thing for those back in the day. Ferris nude is always one that I've really enjoyed, so probably go ahead and keep that. This is a, ooh, <laughs> this is a creamy nude from um, Essence. This is one of my few backups, and i got to keep that. That one is phenomenal. And this is also a really good one from Essence. It's cute nude. So let's stick those over there. This is a red from Revlon in Love That Red. Um, I don't know. How many red lipsticks does one need when they only wear it every once in a while? Maybe I'll keep it for now. Uh, Sassy Mauve. From Revlon I actually really do like that one in the fall this is really red this is the matte from Revlon this is this wears beautifully so I'm definitely gonna keep this one um, 
this, what's this one here? Primrose. Oh, this is one that I don't think I'm going to keep. This is just not flattering on my skin tone and my hair color at this point. So I'm going to get rid of Primrose for sure. Doing pretty good here. This is Lover's Coral. Okay, this one I'm a little torn on because it might be fun for the summertime. I think I'll go ahead and keep it for a little bit longer, but yeah. And then these, this is a P2 lipstick that I received as a gift from a friend. I don't love the wear of it, but when I wear it with a gloss, I like it a little bit better. Um, it's extremely creamy, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this, but I just know that like... If I'm not seeing myself using this a ton over the next year or so, I probably should get rid of it. This lipstick I love. This is another P2. Um, I've actually gone through quite a bit of this. I should probably use this up. This is Message in a Bottle. And it's beautiful. So here's that. Honestly, everything here I'm keeping, these are a lot of like my higher end lipsticks. Also keep in mind, I do have a lot of lipsticks in my current lip drawer right now. None of those I want to get rid of. Um, if you haven't seen my beauty basket, I uploaded that on Monday, so I will link that down below. That'll show you what I currently have in there. But everything in here I see myself keeping. Um, so I'm not even going to really talk much about this. There's the NARS Audacious lipsticks, the Bite Beauty lipsticks. I love the Too Faced. Um, these Buxom ones are gorgeous. So everything here I think I'm very happy with. So here's where we're going to do some purging. Um, this for sure, this is a big, bold lip gloss from, what do you call this, NYC. That needs to go. It's just, it's old. Um melted peony. This I need to get rid of. This is the Josie Moran Argon um, High Gloss Lip Quench. This just bleeds all over me. <laughs> so I'm just going to get rid of this. It's a very pretty color. It's in pink honey, but it just, it bleeds all over my lips. That needs to go. And lip liners. Okay. These fresh minerals need to go. They're completely dried out. Um, what is this one? This is a Milani one. That one's still good. This is a Fresh Minerals. This one is dried out. Needs to go. Um, this one from Essence is still good. That's a lip brush. This Sephora Nano Liner is still okay. These from Marvelous Moxie are still good. This red one from Rimmel is still okay. This anti-aging lip gloss from Paula's Choice. I just don't really like this color, so I'm going to go ahead and toss this. I did find myself avoiding that this summer. This just needs to go. It's pretty old at this point. This is a Lip Slicks from, um, um, what do you call this? CoverGirl. This one smells pretty bad. <laughs> this one's pretty old, so time to get rid of that. And then I think everything else in here I'm still okay with. This is a color icon from Wet n Wild in the color Plumberry. I think this one is still okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that just in case for fall. I don't know that there's a ton in here that I want to get rid of. I think a lot of these glosses I'm still reaching for. These are a lot more like high-end glosses. There's some NARS in here, some, some, some Lorac. What's this? This is a Laura Geller. Yeah, I think this one I'm still okay with. Um, excuse my reach here. And then here, do we have anything in here to get rid of? We do. This Revlon lip gloss. Don't love this color. Plus, it's really shimmery and like it's, it's a chunky shimmer, so that needs to go. This is a Flower Cosmetics in Lovely Lotus. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so this smells really bad. I need to get rid of this, but I will repurchase this one because I love the color, but it, it smells awful, you guys. Ugh. Um, Sexy Mother Pucker, love that. Love it. Love this too, the Pillow Plump. They they don't plump my lips, but I love the colors. So um, this from All May, I'm going to get rid of because, whoops, sorry. almost knocked the camera over. This is kind of old and oh yeah. Oh, 
smells awful. Um, bummer. It was a pretty color. This was the color. What was this? Rosy lipped. If you like Almay, Almay is not cruelty free from my, from what I know, but if they still have these glosses, this was a really pretty color. Um, and then this one too, I got this around the same time. This is cantaloupe. Cantaloupe really truly was a favorite. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> it smells so bad. When things go bad, they really do go bad. Um, this one's still sealed up. These are discontinued now. I'll keep this. This is one of my favorite coral lip products. Um, it's Coral Reef from uh, Revlon. This Milani one should still be good. This Marcel gloss. <laughs> Look at how many of these Marcel glosses I have. Are these two the same color? No. Okay, so I have Bellissima and Rose Creme. I just accidentally purchased another... Um, not rose creme, rose tender. I just accidentally purchased another rose tender when I was in Canada the last time because I thought, oh, I don't think I have that one. But anyway, those are still good. And what about this guy here? Hang on. Oh, that still smells okay. Yeah, that one's, that one's still okay. This is a peach petal, but I honestly just opened this not too long ago um, from Revlon. This They discontinued this particular gloss. Um, I really liked them when they had them out. The Coral Reef was honestly my favorite, so this one's still, in fact, I have two that are still sealed. I think this one's open. Let me smell this guy because I think I, oh, oh shoot, okay. Yeah, this one's gone bad. Yeah. Okay. So this one has to go. This is a coral reef that I've had for a really long time. So that one needs to go, but I do have a couple backups. So I'll just open these next year and probably have to use them pretty quickly. Everything else I think I'm okay with here. So yeah. All right. So this is everything I'm getting rid of here. There's, there's a fair amount. I know that with Sephora VIB coming up here. Um, I'm going to allow myself to purchase five lipsticks. I don't know that I'm going to like necessarily buy five, but five is like my absolute top limit because I just, I don't want my lipstick collection to get out of control again. So I feel pretty good about everything that I've kept. There's a few things, you know, that after this fall, I may feel comfortable getting rid of. But um, we'll do another big declutter in the new year to sort of, you know, go through and clean things out. But I just wanted to get this lip declutter done because, like I said, it was just overwhelming me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and clean all this stuff up here and get rid of these guys. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.